Good morning. This is us officially getting started. Welcome to our live lesson on global citizenship. I'm really glad that you can be with us today. Got a whole lot of exciting stuff for you today. First, we're going to have a wee chat about what is global citizenship? What could that be? Maybe you have done some work in school that is global citizenship. And you might remember that. But there's lots of ways to say what global citizenship is. We think it's about being aware of other people, trying to understand their stories and helping others when you can. Being a positive citizen is about showing kindness and caring for others. So it says there, we need to look after everyone in the world. What would we like you to do this week? As part of our live lesson on global citizenship, we would like to invite you to do something kind. Think of someone that you know who could do, you could do something kind for that would make them smile. Maybe you could create a drawing for them or make a paper flower or make a painted pebble or help them with a project they have. Something kind. Remember, you can tell us about that too and we can share that in our assembly later on, on Friday, which I hope you'll be able to join us for. Today, we are very lucky to welcome Chris Naylor Ballesteros, who is going to read his book, The Suitcase, for us today. A huge thank you to Chris for joining us today, and also to our friends from the Scottish Book Trust for making this workshop happen. All yours, Chris. Hello, thank you, Kat, for introducing me. It's very kind. Um, I'm very, very, very honoured and happy to be here to talk to you all this morning. Um, so yes, I'm Chris. I'm uh, an author and illustrator, which means that my job is to write the stories and draw the pictures for children's books. Um, I've done quite a lot. I've been doing this job for a few years. There's a few of the books that I've done here. There's one about an ant and an anteater. There's books about uh, stick insects. There's books about beetles and butterflies. There's books about tiny reindeers, books about foxes and bears, and books about another kind of animal. And this one, I'll show you later because I'm going to read it this morning, okay? First of all, <coughs> excuse me. I know that you're all uh, in, in schools in Scotland. And um, in fact, I'm not in Scotland and I'm not in England, I'm not in Wales, I'm not in Ireland, in fact I'm not in Great Britain or the United Kingdom at all. Um, I'm in another country uh, where we don't speak English, we speak a different language, where we eat slightly different foods, um, and I'd like you to try and guess where I am. I'll give you a couple of clues. If you do get some good guesses, your teachers could maybe put them on the chat and I'll have a look. Um, See if you can guess where I actually live. First of all, seeing as it's breakfast time, I'm having breakfast. What am I having for breakfast? Well, look at this lovely thing. That's a croissant. It's very buttery and sugary. <laughs> if I'm still hungry after that, I'll have this, which is a pain au chocolat, which is basically really sugary bread, bowl of chocolate. Sounds delicious. Can anybody guess which country I live in yet? Oh, I think there's some right answers coming up. Oh, there's a few right answers. There's a few not sure yet, I think. Let me just get the crumbs away. I'll give you another clue, OK? I'm going to turn the camera around so it's looking out of my window. Where are we? Where are we? There we go. Oh, what's that right out there? Right outside my, my office window. <laughs> Does anybody know the name of this building? This tall, pointy building? It's very famous. Any ideas? Put it in the chat if you know what this is called. Actually quite difficult to spell, so don't worry about that. Of course, it's the Eiffel Tower. Which city is the Eiffel Tower in? It's in Paris, which is in France. Well done, everybody. We've got loads of right answers. That's actually not the real Eiffel Tower, you know, that's a little drawing I did. <laughs> I don't live in Paris, but I do live in France. I live a couple of hours south of Paris in the middle of France. So that's where I am. Um, 
I'll show you my studio a little bit if you like. So that's the window. These are all my books behind me. Not old books that I made, but books by other people. I've got lots and lots of picture books. I started buying picture books for my children, but I loved them even more than they did. So I got lots and lots. Over here is where I work. That's my desk with all my pencils and pens and paints. And it's a bit of a mess at times, but I tidied up this morning for you. There we go. A quick tour of where I work. So why am I in France? Because I'm actually English, even though now I'm also French. I've been here for a very long time. I've been here for 20 years, more than 20 years. Um, why did I come here? Well, I grew up in England. I worked in England and then I met a French woman who lived in England at the time and we liked each other very much. We got married and then we decided to move to France. And so we got everything ready. We packed up, moved everything over to France. And that's where I've lived since the year 2000, which is before you were born, I should imagine. Um, and to be honest, even though France isn't very far away, in fact, at the closest point to England, it's only 20 miles, 22 miles. So even though it's not very far, and even though I had lots of help, my wife helped me, her family helped me, it was still really quite difficult. Because all of a sudden, you travel somewhere from one day to the next, everybody speaks a different language. You eat different food, the weather's different, they do things quite differently. And for quite a long time, you feel a bit lost, even if you've got lots of help, like I did. And it was my choice. I decided to leave because I was happy I'd married this French lady and I wanted to go and live in France. So imagine if you have to move to another country and you didn't really want to. Imagine that you were quite happy where you were, you didn't want to leave, but for some reason you had to. And imagine when you got to the other country, you couldn't speak the same language, everything was different and there was nobody really there to help you. That would be so much more difficult. So I think that's partly why I wrote the book that I'm going to read to you. Um, I have an experience of moving from one country to the other and I think that's maybe why I wrote this story, but it's about, it's a different kind of situation. It's, but it is a story about somebody who who moves, who has to move and go and try to live somewhere else. And that book, here we are, it's called The Suitcase. And that's the cover of The Suitcase. My name at the bottom. Now, on the cover of The Suitcase, we have these three animals on the right. We've got a fox, we've got a little bird, and we've got a rabbit. And they all look like they're maybe they're friends. They're all together on that side there at the same time. We have another animal on this side. I'm not really sure what he is. He looks different. He's a different color. He's kind of blue green and he's got a big suitcase behind him. And to be honest, it looks a bit tired. So I'm going to read this story to you now. I'm going to share this or the pages of this book on my screen. Let me do that now. It'll take two seconds. The suitcase. There we go. I hope you're all seeing that. Kat could let me know if there's a problem, but normally you should all be able to see that clearly. No, well, unfortunately, this time there's a wee problem. So yeah. <laughs> not like when we practiced. So ah, maybe you could try again, please. Yeah, sure. Um, let me. We did practice this and it worked yeah, fine yeah, when yeah. we practiced, but <laughs> it okay. seems to be a small issue. Did nothing come up at all? <laughs> well, I don't see anything, but perhaps if there's try again. Oh. Got it? Well, your screen flashed, but I don't see your slides. Hold on. I'll get your slides. I can help. OK. If not, I can just hold the book up and I'll read it like that. But if you can get it, then that's fine. Good job we have a backup, a plan B. We like a plan B. Yeah, good job. Hold on. No worries. Let me know when you've got that there and I'll... What shall I do? We'll have another look out the window, another quick look at the Eiffel Tower. It's still there, to be honest, to see its paper. <laughs> I stuck it on my window last night. I'll tell you where I am. I'm in a town called Limoges. 
and it's um, a couple of hundred miles south of Paris and it's kind of quite green. It's a bit like the north of England, a bit green. Today it's a bit damp and wet and cold. You can probably see out there, look, very grey. Apparently it's sunny up in Scotland today. I heard cats well, say it yeah. was, but there's well, a little hole in the clouds and I was fooled because the sun <laughs> peeps through and I thought, oh, beautiful, but it's gone away. away again now. Uh, your presentation is just taking a bit to load because yeah. it's full of such beautiful illustrations. So, <laughs> Well, shall I start <laughs> reading it? Here we go. Here we yeah? go. That's got it. You tell me then. Again. I'll read my copy here, and then when I get to the, shall I just say change page when I want when I'd like you to change the page? Hello. I hope that's worked. If anyone can let me know if they can see that, that would be very very helpful because we seem to be having a bit of an issue. Um, but yes, you can just tell me to turn the page. Yes, okay. they can see it. So go ahead. Real. So we talked about the cover. Um, we shall start with the story. So it's the first double page of the story, Kat. Are you there? A strange animal arrived one day, looking dusty, tired, sad and frightened. He was pulling a big suitcase. Now there we can see he's come down that big hill and there's a little red bird watching him go past, looking a little bit confused. OK, we can turn the page. And the bird jumps up and lands on his suitcase and he says, hey, hi there, what's in your suitcase? Uh, my suitcase? Well, uh, there's a teacup. Hmm. Turn the page. Now a rabbit arrives and he says, a teacup? The bird says, that's a big suitcase for a little teacup. Yes, I suppose it is, says the strange animal. But there's a table for my teacup and a wooden chair for me to sit on, too. Hmm. Turn the page, please. Now Fox arrives and he says, there's a table and a chair in your suitcase. Impossible, Rabbit says. Well, it's his suitcase. And the bird says, but a table and a chair, really? And the strange animal says, yes. And he says, there's a little kitchen in a wooden cabin where I make my tea. That's my home. Oh, this is looking very strange, isn't it? We'll turn the page there. Wow. It's on a hillside surrounded by trees, he says. And on a clear day, you can see the sea. It's all there in my suitcase. That sounds very peculiar. Look, can you see the sea back there behind the trees? Looks lovely. We'll turn the page. And the strange animal says, but I'm sorry, I'm really very, very tired. I've been traveling for a long time and come a long, long way. I must have a little rest. <laughs> he goes to sleep. The bird says, what a strange animal. I've never seen anything like him before. Neither have I, said the rabbit, but we really should let him sleep for a while. Well, I don't trust him, says the fox. How do we know he's telling the truth? There's only one way to find out. Turn the page, please. The fox says, someone pass me a big rock. We're going to break open the suitcase and see what's inside. <gasps> the bird says, maybe we should. We need to know the truth. You can't do that, said the rabbit. It's not ours. And turn the page. In no time at all, the suitcase was open. Oh dear, can you see what's inside the case? There's some sort of little cup. And it's smashed and there's a photograph, an old photograph inside it. I'm, I'm sorry, on the photograph, there, there's everything that you talked about earlier. Mm. Oh, that's my dog who wants to go out. Turn the page, please. <laughs> Off you go, Charlie. Sorry about that. 
but if a dog needs to go out, you've got to let them out. OK. The fox says, see, a broken teacup and an old photograph. He lied to us. The bird says, well, no, he, he, he did say there was a teacup. Yes, says the rabbit. And now his suitcase is broken too. What will he think of us? <sighs> Meanwhile, the sleeping stranger dreamed about running away and hiding, about climbing over mountains. Turn the page. And swimming across deep waters. And he dreamed about his suitcase and all that he had inside it. Gosh, that looks scary. We'll turn the page, please. Uh-oh. When he finally woke up, he couldn't believe what the other animals had done. Turn the page. <gasps> what can we see? There's the cup, the teacup that was in his case, but they fixed it. And what's it on? It looks like it's on a little table. Wow. Let's turn the page and see. I'm sorry I broke your suitcase, says the fox. Well, we fixed it as best we could. And the rabbit says, and we've been busy while you were sleeping. We hope you like it, says the bird. <gasps> Thank you. It's perfect, says the animal. There's just one tiny problem. While we turn the page, look at that. They've built him a cabin and a table and a chair. There's his teacup and his suitcase. All the tools that they've used to build it. But the little animal says there's one tiny problem. What could it be? Let's turn the page. He says, we're going to need more teacups. Aha, of course, because there's four of them now. They're going to need four teacups and they only have one. We'll turn the page for the last page. There we have two photographs. Now you can see the photograph at the top that we saw earlier in the story that was in the animal suitcase of his old house and his old table and chair. And then next to it, we have a new photograph. It's got a new cabin, a new table, a new chair. And the animal is sat there with his new friends with four teacups. And that's the end. Thank you very much, Kat. I, I hope that went OK with the page turning. No problem. Was that all right? <laughs> no problem. Oh, good, 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 good. So, um, so this stranger, this strange animal arrives. We don't really know why. We don't know why he had to leave. Um, we don't know where he came from, but he looks very tired. He looks like he needs some help. Um, and he's only put a couple of things. He's basically got one suitcase to go with. So we're going to do a little activity and we can use the chat here on the on the um, Teams thing. Um, I want to ask you a question. If you had to leave and go and live somewhere else, and you had a very small suitcase and you could only put one or two things in it, what would you put in it? I'll show you what I mean. Imagine something like that. There it is. It looks like the suitcase from the story, but it's empty, completely empty. So can you send me some suggestions? Tell your teacher and your teacher can put them on the chat of things that you would take if you had to leave home and you had to go and live in a different place, maybe a different country. What one or two things would you put in your suitcase? And I, if they're not too difficult, will try and draw some of them. So let me know um, in the chat window. Perhaps Sue, if you see some good ones, you could suggest them to me and I'll try a uh, Sue. Sorry, cat. I'm very confused. I didn't eat all my croissant. That's, okay. that's the problem. Oh no! Well, so far I can see <laughs> snacks, which is a very good suggestion snacks. because that was <laughs> that was one yes, of mine. Of um, course. iPad and charger, pajamas, okay. money, food. <laughs> okay. Everyone's what thinking of breakfast today. Food. food. Um, some clothes. Around? iPads are easy. I could draw some clothes. Okay, we can. Uh, these are all a very sensible. 
very <laughs> sensible ideas. <laughs> very, very sensible. Toothbrush is easy to drop in, sorry. I'll turn around. Toothbrush, okay. There we go. Yeah. yeah. A book. A book. Oh, mm -hmm. very good idea. <laughs> Need one book. of your books. Yeah, take some of my books, absolutely. Um, a hat. These are all oh, so sensible. Here's a good one. My yeah? favourite baby doll and my friend Sophia. Oh, well, I don't know what Sophia looks like, so I'll just have a go. <laughs> a chocolate brownie. <laughs> there were many Sophie suggestions about food. I'm trying to draw Sophia. I bet she looks nothing like this, though. <laughs> There's Sophia giving us a wave. Okay. There we uh, go. So um, you lots take of your people. Friend. Yeah. Lots of people saying their favorite Teddy. Favorite Teddy. All mm -hmm. right, let's have a go at a uh, Teddy. Now then, Teddies. Well, they are bears, but they don't really look like bears so much, do they? <laughs> oh, they do. <laughs> There we Is go. Very big ears. <laughs> There's another suggestion. Someone said they would bring their dog. Hopefully not in oh, the suitcase. Their <laughs> dog. There's a challenge for you. Yeah, dogs and cats and horses. I hope nobody mm -hmm. wants to take a horse <laughs> or a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> not so far, but now that you've suggested it. Oh no. Um, water. There's another one. Very good dog. dog. He's not bad, is he? No, he's he looks a good pretty, dog. pretty happy. How Wagging. about a football? Football, good. I can draw footballs. Mm -hmm. They're generally round. Actually, footballs are really hard to draw at first, but then you do a five pointed sort of whatever it's called. Is it a penta? Pen? Ooh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. And that's a football. Good idea. Uh, well, well, yeah. Someone else has suggested football boots. Football boots. Well, I could draw a boot kicking the ball. There you go. Oof, it's gone a bit funny. <laughs> okay, football boots. Um, yeah. <clears throat> someone else said they would fit their bed into a suitcase. A bed. Mm -hmm. It could be one of those fold-up beds, you know? It could be. We've got, mind you, you'd have to be quite small to sleep in a fold-up bed. A bed, let's draw a proper bed. Okay. I'm not drawing very well because I'm holding up the paper. Any excuse. Also, I've not had my croissant, that's why, you see. Oh, uh, so you're making us all want a croissant now. I know. Well, you should try and get one after. I will. Okay, I'm going nice. to have to find a croissant. <laughs> or a pan au chocolat. Imagine for breakfast mm. having bread filled with chocolate every morning. Really Yum. nice. Right, wherever, there's a bed, nice comfy pillow. Um, someone says, uh, Strath of Athens School says, a picture of my family and me. Which oh, is a nice, nice suggestion. That is lovely. I won't try and draw it though, because I have no idea what their family looks like and I'll probably make a bit of a mess of it. Okay, but it's a How lovely idea. About tea. Tea? Mm -hmm. a, a cup of tea? I think that's a teacher. <laughs> saying they need the well, tea. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good it's a good idea. Yes, need to have a tea. massive mug of tea mm -hmm. steaming. Okay. You want some more suggestions? I don't know, what do you think? Another one or two, and then we'll get on to the next little thing. Okay. Um, oh, here's a lot. My sister, my teddy, my fossil collection. Fossil <laughs> collection? Cat? Yes, family, I'll my do, shinty I'll stick, do. my bed. <laughs> I wow. Don't know what a shi I don't know what a shinty stick is. <laughs> I think they need a bigger suitcase. Um, how about... I'm drawing a cat. A pillow. Oh, no. Pillow's a good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm just drawing the cat that somebody <laughs> suggested. The little whiskers. Okay. A pillow's a good idea. I think that's very useful. They're all 
to be honest, they're all really sensible. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of them, you wouldn't want to put your cat in a suitcase. No, well, there's a lot but... of suggestions for Xbox as well, which I wasn't sure you'd be able to draw. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Xbox, it's a thing. Mm-hmm. I know what they are. Mm. I don't know exactly know what they look like, but yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the other thing would be, I think somebody said a telephone, so we could draw mm-hmm. that. Yes. Like a mobile phone. Mm-hmm. It's all glass and shiny with the little buttons there. Uh, okay. Very good. Some excellent suggestions. What did we oh, have? Good. Let's have a look. We had the bed is pretty good, as long as you could fold it up and fit in your case. A rather sad looking teddy bear. Um, your dog, yeah. A ball, football and football boots, good idea. Your friend Sophie, was it? Yeah. Yep. Toothbrush, books, your cat, your phone, a cup of tea, excellent idea. Brilliant. Thank you very much for those suggestions. I drew them as quick as I could. And to be honest, I often get drawings wrong. I have to practice them about 50 times before I get it right. At least nobody said a horse or a bicycle. Right. So there were some brilliant suggestions there. Things that you would take with you if you had to leave and move to another place. Very good. Now, let's imagine the same situation or similar situation, but from the other direction. Imagine you are not going anywhere. You're staying where you are. And imagine that somebody else has arrived with their little suitcase and they've only got one or two little things in it that they could bring with them. Okay, you just before they arrive, you have a big empty box, big box like that. Okay, And it says welcome on it. And what I want you to do is think about things that you would put in this box for other people for when they arrive. What do you think they'd like to have or what do you think they'd need? It could be useful things or it could just be nice things that would make them happy when they arrive. So imagine there they are. They've arrived with a little suitcase and they don't have very much. You've prepared this big box full of nice things for them or useful things, things that you think they would need. How about that? You could do a few of those now, but it could also be something that you work on afterwards, after this session has finished. Um, Kat, should we start with a few suggestions now, or should we leave that for a, let's try one for a later? Or two. Act- yeah, OK. Yeah, I'm getting close for time, but let's just try one or two just to get an idea of what they could put yep. in there. Brilliant, OK. So what have we got? Is, uh, I'm trying to read and draw so far. Oh, here we go. Something to yeah. eat. A teddy, right. a doll. A doll and a teddy. Good. I did a teddy before, but it's an excellent idea. I think if you were mm-hmm. a young child and you arrived somewhere and you didn't have your doll with you or your teddy, it would be lovely to have one. Something to eat. Chocolate. Yes. Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Flowers. Flowers. Mm-hmm. That's such a nice idea. Because to be honest, it brightens things up, doesn't it? Having some mm-hmm. flowers. A welcome card. Is Good idea. One? Excellent mm-hmm. oh, idea. Oh, there's some really nice suggestions here. Yeah, like what? Uh huh. Like some food, some money, a rugby ball, yeah. a welcome card, a face cloth, some snacks, a right. map, a, a guitar, map. a guitar, <laughs> a nice picture to make them smile. Some Brilliant. toys. Oh, a friend. Oh. oh. A pillow. Yeah. A teddy bear and some sweets. These are a lovely present. because there's a really nice mixture of very mm-hmm. useful things that people really need. Mm-hmm. And then just some things that you don't need, but they make you happy. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no. a, a blanket, a toothbrush and toothpaste, but then someone else has suggested toast and chocolate spread, which, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, you see, I'm not eating my, I haven't eaten my power of chocolate either, and I really want it now. No. It's just here, but oh, mm. I can see it, but I can't have it yet. There, I've got a guitar and some flowers. Pajamas Real- and a pajamas football again. Football, yeah. Um, uh, how about a blanket? Or a present. Yes. Present in a nice box. Mm-hmm. 
a box in a yeah. box. That's some really lovely box. suggestions. Oh, someone uh, else has suggested a hug. That's oh, lovely. Yep. Books. And a present glasses, in a box. A picture glasses. of a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall I try a dolphin? It might end Go up on just then. like a shark. <laughs> it's looking like a dolphin so far. Oh, well done. Way! Problem with dolphins is they can end up looking like sharks, but he looks pretty dolphiny. Nice one. That was look. Oh, so the last suggestion oh, is yeah. a family, which is lovely. Oh, yeah. Because that's yeah. just the idea we're going for, isn't it? It is, because of course, sometimes families cannot travel together. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, they have to go on their own or they're separated on their way. And even though maybe they set off together, when they get to where they wanted to go, they're not together anymore. They've got to find each other or they've got to stay apart for a long time. So all these things help, you know, all these useful things really help, but also just the nice things help to, to imagine giving someone some flowers or, or a present or, uh, you know, a gift. It's a wonderful idea. It doesn't have to be something big because even a small thing um, shows that you care. It shows that, you know, you, you, you're interested in them and that you want them to be happy. And that's really what we're trying to talk about when we talk about, um, you know, global citizenship and all these kind of ideas. It's about trying to make people feel at home and make them happy. Yeah, it is lovely. Um, well, thank you for that. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what other ideas people's come up with in the activity that yeah. you've um, supplied for us with the the frame of the suitcase and the box. Yes, because um, you could do you could do your own drawings, you know, uh, when in, in your classes. I don't know, it's for the teachers to plan all this, but yeah, you've got these sheets where you've got the empty suitcase and then you've got a you can put things in the box and you can draw all the things that you think would be nice, things that you would take with you in your suitcase and then as we just did, things that you would put in your box, in the box to welcome people who arrive from somewhere else. Yeah, those are activities that you can mm -hmm. do uh, with your teacher in your classes. Yeah, so here's what that looks like. Um, and that is in the resource folder for when, for when, um, for after the lesson, if you would like to draw some of the ideas that you've got yourself um, and, I'd, and I'd let like us know what you would them. put in. It, it would be nice mm -hmm, to see. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. If the children do some of the drawings, I'd love to see them. Oh, definitely. We would like, we, we invite everyone to send in their drawings or their ideas of what you would put in. And remember before we had asked, um, please do an act of kindness. If you can think of something kind to do, just look out for the opportunity to do that. If you have that opportunity, please feel free to share what you've done with us as well with mm -hmm. that. Here is how you can do that. You can say hello, you can share a picture of your class watching our lesson um, and you can send your drawings in and your ideas of what you would send in. And we would love to see them um, and I'm sure Chris would love to see them too. Um, and if you can, you can join us at our assembly on Friday and we'll share as many of your drawings and your ideas as we can then as well. Um, and, but for but right now, um, Chris, I'd like to thank you so much for your time um, for joining us today and for your lovely story. Um, thank you for for reading your lovely story and for sharing your fantastic drawings with us. That was that was brilliant. Thank you so it's, much. It's been an absolute pleasure, Kat. Thank you very much. And thank you to all the schools and all the children and teachers who joined us this morning. Uh, it was a real pleasure. I hope one day we could we could do this again. Thank you very much. Definitely. Thanks, thank everyone. You. Hope to see you Friday morning. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.